Hey guys, I'm Burning Dog Face, and before I get started with Resident Evil 5, I thought I would look at this History of Resident Evil file, so that you can get caught up on the lore if you're new to the franchise. Just as a warning, this might count as spoilers for the uh, remake of Resident Evil 2 that just came out, so uh, if you don't want to know anything about that, you might want to turn this off and tune in tomorrow when the LP starts in earnest. Now then! 1960s. Engineer Michael Warren begins the electrification of Raccoon City. The fifth head of the Ashford family, Edward Ashford, begins his research into what would later become known as the Progenitor Virus. 1962. Oswell E. Spencer enlists architect George Trevor to design and construct a reclusive mansion on the outskirts of Raccoon City. 1966, December. Oswell E. Spencer, James Marcus, and Edward Ashford officially establish the progenitor virus, which reconstitutes a living organism's DNA. 1967, November. The construction of the mansion and lab facilities in the Arclay Mountains is completed. Jessica and Lisa Trevor are injected with a variant of the progenitor virus. The virus fails to establish itself in Jessica, and she is subsequently disposed of. The virus shows promise in Lisa, and as a result, she is placed under close observation. George Trevor is chosen to be a test subject, however, Due to his intimate knowledge of the mansion facility, he is disposed of instead. Oh, I read that wrong. Hmm. Just pretend I did that with the emphasis in the right places. 1968. Construction of Raccoon City's public transit trolleys begins in Europe, and they are quickly put into use within the city. Spencer founds the pharmaceutical company Umbrella with Marcus and Edward Ashford. The company is established to mask their biological research. July. Edward Ashford contracts the progenitor virus and dies. His son, Alexander Ashford, succeeds him as head of the Ashford family. August. The Umbrella Training Facility is established in the Arclay Mountains, with Marcus appointed as director. 1969. February. Alexander Ashford begins to design a facility in Antarctica. He secretly makes plans to build an underground laboratory for the purpose of the Code Veronica project. November. Umbrella's Antarctic base and research facilities are completed. 1971. The Code Veronica project is successful. The twins Alfred and Alexia Ashford are born. 1977. Albert Wesker and William Birkin join the training facility as, as prospective managers. 1978. January. Marcus successfully develops the T-Virus. July. The closure of the training facility is finalized. Wesker and Birkin transfer their T-Virus research to the Arclay Research Facility. Marcus continues his own research in the closed-down training facility. 1981, July. Although only 10 years old, Alexia Ashford graduates at the top of her class from a prestigious university. Birkin begins to view Alexia as a rival. 1982, Alexia injects her father, Alexander, with a T. Veronica virus, but the experiment ends in failure. Damn. 1983, December. Wesker researches secondary exposure to the T-Virus. He begins to have reservations about Spencer's plans. Alexia injects herself with the T-Veronica virus and enters a 15-year cryogenic sleep. To maintain the secrecy of this plan, it is reported that she died of accidental exposure to the virus. 1987, Michael Warren becomes mayor of Raccoon City. 1988, Wesker, under orders from Spencer, assassinates Marcus. Under Birkin's guidance, the T-Virus hmm, begins development... Oh, the T-Virus program begins development of the B.O.W. Tyrant. 
Umbrella begins work on the Nemesis project at its sixth European research facility. 1991. Umbrella begins construction of an expansive underground laboratory beneath Raccoon City. Spencer approves Birkin's G-Virus project, and work begins on it. Wesker is transferred to the Information Department. 1992. Umbrella contributes funds for the refurbishment of City Hall and the building of the General Hospital. A statue of Michael Warren is erected in City Hall. 1993. Raccoon City Police Chief Brian Irons begins conducting negotiations with Umbrella. Birkin transfers to the underground lab in Raccoon City. Clandestine meetings with Irons begin. Uh, Alfred Ashford graduates from a university in England and becomes director of the Antarctic facility. He rises up the ranks to eventually become an executive of Umbrella and then director of Rockford Island. December. A training facility for anti-BOW squad members is completed. 1994. John from the Chicago lab takes over for Birkin at the Arclay Research Facility. Alfred builds a private mansion and prison on Rockford Island. 1996. Raccoon City Police Department's STARS team is founded with Wesker as captain. Hunk, later of the Umbrella Special Forces, undergoes combat training at Rockford Island. 1998. May. A mysterious clone of Marcus's appears at the Umbrella Training Facility. There is a large-scale viral leak at the Arclay Mansion. The research lab there is destroyed. Cerberus claims its first victim, a 20-year-old woman whose body is found dismembered. 23 pages in, and we've reached the year the first game takes place. June. Cerberus sightings are reported in a local Raccoon City magazine. July. Two groups are sent to investigate the training facility. The first one is wiped out by BOWs located on the premises. There is an increase in reports of accidents and missing persons in the Arclay Mountains. The city sends the STARS Bravo team to investigate. Bravo team's helicopter experiences engine trouble for unknown reasons and is forced to put down in the Arclay Mountains. Bravo team takes the Ecliptic Express to investigate the training facility which is later destroyed. Hmm. Alpha Team is sent out to search for Bravo Team when communication is lost. The occurrence of the Mansion Incident. That's a good way to cover up the game uh, details. Bravo Team leader Enrico Marini learns Wesker's true identity. Wesker murders Enrico. Ravaged by the virus, the Mansion and the Lab are destroyed. Four members of Alpha Team and one member of Bravo Team escape the catastrophe. Survivors Chris Redfield Jill Valentine Barry Burton Brad Vickers Rebecca Chambers Wesker escapes the Arclay Research Facility before it is destroyed. August Former STARS member Chris Redfield learns of the G-Virus and heads to Europe to investigate Umbrella. September the virus spreads throughout Raccoon City via infected mice. The city is declared a biohazard as incidents of cannibalism continue to rise. Birkin completes work on the G-Virus. A zombie horde attacks the city's police station. The police station is destroyed and Chief Irons descends into Mania. Warren escapes the city but leaves his daughter behind. UBCS, Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service, arrives in the city to begin rescue operations. Rookie police officer Leon S. Kennedy arrives in the city at the same time as Claire Redfield. Umbrella deploys the BOW Nemesis T-Type into the city, and it begins its hunt for former STARS member Jill Valentine. Umbrella deploys mass-produced tyrants into the city. Leon and Claire escape the city with William and Annette Birkin's daughter, Sherry. Maybe there are spoilers, after all. With the arrival of the U.S. military, the city is placed under martial law. UBCS survivors are exploited by Umbrella's official observer of the situation, Nikolai Genoviev, and they die off one by one. The hospital is destroyed. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ada Wong and Hunk each acquire samples of the G-Virus. 
The underground lab in Raccoon City is destroyed. October. The U.S. government decides to eliminate the virus threat by destroying Raccoon City with a missile strike. December. Claire infiltrates the Paris Laboratory, only to be captured and imprisoned on Rockford Island. Wesker attacks the island with his own private force and releases the T-Virus onto the island. Claire escapes from the prison and sends an email to Leon asking for help. Her location is made known to Chris. Jill escapes Raccoon City and goes to Chris's apartment, but he has already left for Rockford Island. Alfred Ashford escapes the island. Chris arrives at Rockford Island and finds Wesker. Alexia Ashford wakes up from her cryogenic sleep at the Antarctic base. Alfred dies shortly after. Claire and Chris are reunited at the Antarctic base, and together they defeat Alexia. They escape before the base is destroyed. 2002. Jack Krauser fakes his own death and joins Wesker's secret organization. 2003. February. Chris and Jill take part in the mission to destroy the Umbrella Caucus. It causes? I don't know how you say that. Research facility in Russia. They were successful in destroying a new BOW known as Talos. 2004. The U.S. President's daughter, Ashley Graham, is kidnapped by the religious group known as the Los Illuminados. The actual kidnapping was carried out by Krauser. I didn't actually know that. Uh, Leon Kennedy was scheduled to join Ashley's Secret Service detail, but is ordered to find her instead. Leon Kennedy is injected with a Las Plagas parasite by the Los Illuminados. Ah, uh, the, the Los. The Los. Unnecessary people. After th uh, that, he and Ashley, who is also infected with the same parasite, take shelter in a church. After escaping the village, Leon and Ashley are forced to seek refuge in an old castle, but Ashley is once again apprehended. This time, she is taken to an isolated island by Krauser under the orders of Ramon Salazar, the eighth head of the Salazar family. Leon confronts Salazar and defeats him. Leon heads to the island to find Ashley, and it is there that he defeats both Jack Krauser and Osmond Sadler, the leader of the Los Illuminados cult. Leon and Ashley use the facility on the island to remove the parasites. Ada Wong steals a Las Plagas parasite sample from Leon. Leon and Ashley escape from the island by jet ski. Okay, I get it. Can we just get going now? Sorry, man. Sorry.